Oh la la, what an absolutely fabulous place Sonor really is. Today's video is the entire length of all the areas of beach which will be of interest to tourists. I'm not going to waste much. And this is a place called the Beard House. It has an inside um, coffee shop there behind the glass. Residencies or apartments and things that are going to be available here at um, nice hotel this one. It's a poolside bar also. See it's full with guests there. Section here just at the back of the um, pathway in the beach. Wow. Looks very, very beautiful there at the Prama. It's open currently. But as you can see it's a very, very elegant um, looking structure. To remember your Sonor holiday. I love Sonor. Spatty. give you a general idea of what you can price food here on the beach you can see those prices are extremely cheap good morning from Bali Indonesia so this morning I'm here in the Sonora area of Bali and what I'm going to feature in this video for you is a morning stroll along the beach here in Sonora so this morning stroll what I'm going to feature in today's video the starting point for this is going to be at Sindhu um, beach area of Sonora and I'm going to walk all the entirety of the beach the main tourist locations of the beach here in Sonora all the way through to Semawang beach so I'm going to take in everything along this um, long walk uh, what's going to be featured in the video I'm going to show you the um, hotel accommodations I'm going to show you all the um, restaurants and everything that you can um, see along the beach that I believe will be of interest to tourists um, so this this video start time is 8 20 a.m. in the morning so it's going to give you a good general idea of the restaurants and maybe good for um, choosing where you're going to uh, have your breakfast here in Sonor and just give you a general idea of what to expect early in the morning here in Sonor so without any further ado let's go and take a stroll along Sonor Beach okay so here's the start point for today's video the Pantai Sindhu otherwise known as Sindhu beach sign and um, we're going to be heading right in most of the video heading away through to Semawang beach however first of all I'm just going to turn left and pick up a few restaurants um, left first of all and then we're going to come back to the Pantai Sindhu sign and turn right so you've got some bicycle rental here on the beach for rental it's usually a little bit expensive on the beach we have some um, local uh, sellers here. This lady's got a nice collection of crackers and things there. Also have another local seller here again. Just here, this is um, Lahutu's, Lahutu's um, cafe or restaurant. So the Hutu's the main entrance to the coffee shop is in the back there. There's also some customers in here. Just here we have a place called Coretta. There's your seating area here at Coretta. Sorry, we're directly into the sun. This is the Coretta um, kitchen area. Just continuing on, we have Tootsie, Tootsie Bar and Restaurant. There's the inside of Tootsie. We are open for breakfast. Let's take you and show you the, um, there's the Tootsie seating area here on the beach. The Tootsie Bar and Restaurant menu for the coffee. Also, beer buckets. And then, just last in this direction, this is a place called the Beard House. It has an inside um, coffee shop there behind the glass. Quite popular this place, quite a few customers inside there, inside the Beard House. 
just show you the name so you know the name and then we'll just cut back and show you the um, outside seating seating area there's the name beard house has a beautiful inside seating area i won't take you inside because we're just um, walking along the beach today and then here's the beautiful um, outside seating area here at beard house Okay, so now back at the Pinti Pint Pantai Sindhu sign, now we're going to head right and just make our way along this section of beach now. This is just going to be a straight walk now all the way through to Semawang Beach. So just here we have the Turtle Conservation Centre. This is donation to enter. Have all the um, tanks inside with all the turtles and things inside there. Donation made in the box there. And then just here on the beach um, we have a um, collection of local warungs. They actually open for breakfast, some are, some aren't. You can see there's a few people here, mainly Indonesian here. There's all the warungs in the back. Probably going to be more of a um, Indonesian style breakfast from these places. Next on the right hand side here is the Inner Sindhu Hotel. That's actually their restaurant there just um, on the beach here. A few customers and people inside to see. Here's their seating area here on the beach. continue walking along now next is going to be a place called Seoul on the beach this is usually a very popular place here so I'll just pick it up on the right hand side first of all and then bring you back out to the beach just so you know the name so it's called Seoul on the beach There's the inside seating area of Seoul on the beach. Beautiful seating area. You can have a beautiful picture here taken. Love Bali, I'm never coming home. And then now we'll take you, there's quite a few customers here at Seoul on the beach as you can see. Tequila bar. Welcome to Seoul on the beach. And as you can see, there's a few customers inside there. So we just continue on. Just next door to Seoul on the beach, we have the Kayu Manis. This is usually another very popular place. Beautiful seating area here on the beach. Also has an inside seating area also here at Ken. Moreno coming up next. All day feel good is the motto here. Dining by the beach, 7.30 to 10 p.m. As the name Moreno. Also has a nice inside seating area there at Moreno. And here's your outside seating area here on the beach. breakfast menu and we'll just continue walking on 
So just on the right hand side here we have the Sindhu Beach Market just in the back there it's not really open yet that looks as though they're just opening up now and we just continue walking along the track we have all the bicycles we have some um, sunbeds for rent also here which is sunbed rental it's usually um, 50,000 per sunbed for the day um, however, some do try and ask for 100. Just on the side here we have Kajora Villas and Suites. It's the name. Beautiful place this. Okay, just continuing on from Kajora Villas and Suites now, and um, we're going to have a little bit of a break until we get to the uh, to the next place. Have a tall, little tour booking office here. This is the new Icon Bali. This is the rear view here on the beach. Front view out onto the main street of Jalanda and the Tambalingan. The walkway leading out into the beach there also. And we just continue walking on. I'm going to stop the camera now until we get up to the next area. Okay, so just a little bit on from the icon now. I just want to show you these. This is the new um, luxury residences or apartments and things that are going to be available here at um, Icon. Beautiful collection of um, apartments there. La la. Exclusive luxury residences. Now we're going to get back on the track, so you have some sunbeds for rent here again also. Just remember 50,000. Just in the back here we have um, a place called Anjana Beachside Restaurant. It's the name, fresh coconuts, 25k. Here's your seating area. It actually is, it says it's open, I'm not sure whether it is or not, there's nobody around. Oh it is, the staff are out on the beach there. Also have a seating area here on the beach. Sorry about the bright light, we're directly into the sunlight. Just next in line is the um, Rispati Hotel. Rispati Beach Hotel. Here's the breakfast menu here at Rispati. Let's give you a general idea of what you can expect to pay. I'm not going to include any other menus. There is other menus there, but I'm only going to include the um, breakfast. You can see there's quite a few people there inside the Rispati. Very popular hotel. Also has a very beautiful outside seating area here at Rispati. continue on along the track some people on the bicycles here this used to be the X art hotel it's now closed down since the pandemic And next, I think this is the Gazebo Hotel, just on the right-hand side here now. Oh, it is the Gazebo Beach Hotel. Here's the restaurant dining area for breakfast. Also has a um, very um, cheap priced food here. If you want to have some reasonably priced food here on the beach, you can see those prices are extremely cheap. You can also, there's a swimming pool offer as well, 
50,000 per person. And the swimming pool, including one soft drink and a pool towel. And there's the restaurant area at Gazebo. They also have a um, seating area here, here as well, out on the beach. And just continue walking now. Some more sunbeds for rent here, also some water sports and things. This next place is called Memory Sonore. It's a nice little restaurant type coffee shop place, has its own swimming, little swimming pool also. Also have a beautiful um, seating area here, actually under cover here, so you're protected from the sun here at Memories. And we just keep walking along the track here now. Okay, so next, um, just up from Memories, we have the um, Tanjung Sari Hotel here. It's very beautiful um, accommodation, this. You can see the um, have the guests sitting outside, swimming pool in the back there. Has a beautiful seating area also, Tanjung Sari here on the beach. Okay, so just from the Tanjung Sari, we'll continue walking along the line. I'll just um, take you in and show you the name, just so you know it's the Tanjung Sari. A security guard going in there. So there's the name on the wall. And now we're going to continue walking along the track. Some bicycles for rental again here. I think next is the Basaki Beach Hotel. There's the Basaki Beach Hotel um, area on the beach. There's a beautiful Basaki Beach Hotel swimming pool. Also have the pool bar here. And an outside shower facility here also. Just give you a view on the pool from this angle. There's a full view on the Basaki, just to show you and prove to you it's the Basaki. There's the name. I featured this place in a video. As the restaurant, have an outside and an inside restaurant here at the Basaki. Also have these little cool seating areas here in the gazebo. And then you have a beautiful seating area on the beach also. Some guests just at the back here. Let's another look at the um, Basaki. It's the restaurant area and just keep walking along the track now. So this next place is a place called the Gria Santrian. Just give you a look at their beach. So we have half decked, half on the beach seat, um, relaxing area, some sun lounges there. Nice hotel, this one. This is the um, entrance here. Swimming pool area in the back there. There's the name, the Gria Santrian. It's a beautiful swimming pool area. It's a poolside bar also. And a beautiful um, relaxing area here on the beach. Multiple different seating options there. The restaurant's absolutely packed here at the Gria Santrian. 
a very popular hotel that, there's a lot of uh, guests inside the restaurant there. You can see it's full with guests there. So have a beautiful um, seating relaxing area out here. Hello brother, how are you? This bit's just under the cover. We'll take you to the end here so we can get a better view of it. There's a full view inside there. Nice undercover protecting you from the sun but overlooking the ocean. And then next we have Villa Shanty just on the right hand side here. This is the massage area here at Villa Shanty. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's the name Villa Shanty. Beautiful place in there. There's a beautiful um, seating area also on the beach here, or relaxing lounger area. There's your restaurant area here at Villa Shanty. Beautiful Balinese music playing, lots of guests inside there. And now we're going to continue walking along the track. Lots of people riding on the bicycles in this beautiful um, sunny morning. So you can see all the way along the beach have bicycles and things for rental. They're usually a little bit expensive, the bicycles on the beach. You should be expecting to pay somewhere between 20 to 50,000 per day on a bicycle. Um, they'll usually try and charge you that per hour on the beach. Um, if you get them from the street locations, um, then you should be, that's what you should be paying, but between 20 to 50,000, depending on the um, quality of the bike. Hello, good morning. So this next place is a place called Nilayan, beautiful place this, you can see we have the um, customers there just sitting relaxing on the beach. There's a beautiful seating area here also on the beach or just at the back of the beach, nice collection of tables and chairs, also some soft cushion seating there, I'll just show you the name, Nilayan. Okay, yeah. And here's the beautiful inside seating area here at Nalayan. Okay, we just continue on from Nalayan now along the track. Some more tourist um, booking information office there. We'll get back on the beach. Next place is going to be the Word Hapora, I think. deck chairs and things are all folded up here I'm not sure whether these are deck chairs for rent or attached to a hotel and you can swim out to that area there in the middle of or in the ocean got two pagodas out there looks very beautiful and now we're going to continue walking along the track so you can see all the beautiful trees a little bit untidy and grassy in the middle section there just continue along this um, section of track now okay so all of that fencing there um, I thought when I was walking I said this is the word Hapora next however it seems to be um, totally fenced off so it must be I think closed I don't quite know what's going on there I haven't heard anything but this is normally the word Hapora this fencing is new it's normally open and the word Hapora is in the back there So I'm not sure what's going on there. And then next door to the word Hapora is the Langhawi um, Hotel or the um, beach entrance from the Langhawi coming out onto the hotel. 
we'll just cut back in and show you it's also going to be a place in the back here called cream so there's the Langhawi hotel the access is along that section there also a little coffee shop here at the front we also have another coffee shop in the back here called Crema it's just in the back there also a nice seating area here out on the beach at Crema two different kinds of seating you have some sun lounger relaxers cool um, cold coconuts also have some um, beach sun loungers here no, thank you, brother. Coconut. Bintang. Coconut. Bintang. <laughs> we just continue along from Crema now. So the next place here is a place called Villa Pantai Karang. That's the um, back door entrance. I featured this place in a video. Very beautiful accommodation, this. On let's take you inside and show you there's a beautiful swimming pool area here at Villa Pantai Karang so just from Villa Pantai Karang so here's your um, beach sun lounger area here on the beach wooden sun loungers, soft cushion tops continue walking along some more bicycles for rent here have a toilet and shower facility there 5,003 3,000 for a pee 5,000 for a shower this is the um, 101 um, hotel seating area which is located on the main street of Jiland down at Tambalingan this is your seating area here on the beach at the 101 continue walking along the track now so just coming up on the right hand side this is going to be the um, entrance to this is a section of beach called Kerang Beach I'll show you it's Kerang Beach we have a um, picture photo opportunity here have a family photo there Pantai Kerang I'll show you the main entrance to Pantai Kerang also have some bench style seating along the back there along the back of the track so some bicycle rental here all these are new bikes however they will be a bit overpriced and expensive and then this is the uh, main entrance to Pantai Kerang. You have a collection of um, local little warungs and things and tourist goods shops and things in the back here. It's usually better of an evening or afternoon time. And this just leads all the way back to Jalan down the Tambalingan, Main Street in Central Sonor. And now we're going to continue walking along the track again. some people doing some exercise and things on the beach here hello good morning a little, little temple here also i we'll just continue walking along the back of the beach so you can see there's um, a good um, collection of foreigners and indonesian these are um, foreigners that are um, coming past on the bicycles now having the photos taken here on the beach this is one of my least favorite sections of beach here they've um, they've just recently built all of this beach section up here made it higher for some reason 
don't know whether they're planning on building something here or something's going in or not but this is literally like central Sonor beach area now so we just continue worm walking there's just a great section of nothing here so I'm going to shut off the camera for a while until we get up to the other end and then we shall start again okay so I'm just a little bit further up now on this section of beach as you can see it's just a little um, it's just an empty not a great beach section I think this is the worst beach beach section here in Sonor this area they, they've built all of this beach section up here I'm not sure what's going on or why but it's you can see it doesn't look too great this section of beach not like all the other areas okay so we're at the end of the um, scruffy beach section as you can see they've dragged a lot of the sand out of the ocean here it's very dirty sand and not great this is literally central Sonor beach and then as you can see the difference in contrast now we're coming back to the beautiful um, white sand beach beach area here there's a look at that side dull and dreary and now we get back to the beautiful white sand beach areas okay so just on from the um, not so great section of beach now as you can see the beach has improved again immensely in this location and section here have some more deck chairs and some beds and things available for rent here um, and then we're just going to start walking along the um, track here Next is going to be the Mayer, Mayer Resort. Just turning here again, this um, street will take you to the Paragata Resort and Spa, also back to Jolanda and the Tambalingan. Have a little coffee hut here if you want to get, get some coffee or coconuts here on the beach. Just in the back there. And then just on the right hand side now here we have the Mayor Sonor. Nice resort this. There's the breakfast seating area in the back there. Looks because there's quite a few customers in there. There's the name Mayor Sonor. Have a 50k coffee and croissant available. It's on the board there. Breakfast available a la carte also. So these must be the um, sunbeds and things available here at the Mayor, just on the beach. A little bit of a sloping beach section. Mayor's um, located, it's higher up, it's a higher up setting. Swimming pool's up above in the top there. <laughs> so have some nice swinging seating from the um, tree there you can see. beautiful mural on the wall also and then we just continue along so I think this next place is the Panedia View yes it is it's the Panedia View Panedia View Hotel I featured this place in a video it's a very unique style accommodation here there's their um, sun lounges just by and there's the restaurant just in the back there here's the beach area here outside the Panedia View very beautiful section of beach available to outside guests as well for breakfast the restaurant let's continue walking have some water sports and things again available here on this side there's a number if you want to book any of those hello good morning no just putting in the video just continue along the track now so here we have a place called Anti uh, Warung Pantai Inda there's Warung Pantai Inda has an inside and an outside seating area here under the um, from the sun a lady here selling some um, hats and things if you need some protection from the sun hello good morning just continue walking along the track here I think the next is the Andas and the um, Hyatt Regency yeah, 
this is the start of the Andas here. Just take you in and show you the Andas swimming pool. So there's the beautiful Andas swimming pool area. Beautiful Andas seating, so, some lounges here also. Let's get back on the beach. So they don't, they've got a section here just at the back of the um, pathway in the beach. Nice beach um, area here also outside the Andas, beautiful clean white sand. Very, very beautiful this place, as you'd expect for a five-star resort. Hello, morning brother. Also have a restaurant, which I presume is open to outside guests. Yes, it is. Some different style seating areas here. There's the um, Andaz um, Sun Lounges relaxing area on the beach. Beautiful area in the back there. So the mum and the daughter there on the bicycle, she's struggling riding the bicycle. You can see it's a beautiful beach area here outside the Andaz. And then the Andaz is attached, I think it was originally personally the um, Hyatt Regency or Grand Hyatt. And now it's um, the Andaz but I think it's the same standard of hotel. And then next here is going to be the, um, not sure what that is, it looks like some kind of a villa or accommodation or something. That's still the Andaz and then now we're coming to the Hyatt Regency. These look like, they look like private villas or something but connected with the Andaz or the um, Hyatt Regency. Have showers on the beach here also. People relaxing already on the sand, just baking in the sun. So, so beautiful. And then just in the back here we have a um, turtle sanctuary also. This is part of the Andaz. I'm not sure whether outside guests or people can go in this one or not. With the big tanks here. Some more smaller ones there, you can see the people looking. There's a big turtle there swimming around. Some more in the side there also. So it's the sea turtle village, it is connected with the Andaz. You just keep walking along the track. And back on the um, beach area. Have a um, swing dangling from the tree there. Okay, so now these are the um, Hyatt Regency rooms. These already now in the back, or some of the rooms. Beautiful gardens, still like a jungle. Or should we say tropical gardens? Guest only entrance there to the um, Hyatt Regency. So here's your beautiful um, beach area here at the Hyatt Regency, your sun lounges and things here. You can see they've got big thick, um, super thick cushions there on the um, sunbeds. I'll just take you and show you the beach area here outside the Hyatt Regency while we're here. You can see it has a beautiful um, section of beach here. Continue walking. Oh la la, this is a long walk, very hot. So you can see the Hyatt has beautiful gardens just in the back there. Very big, very grand, as you'd expect from the uh, name. 
think it used to be the Grand Hyatt and then changed to the Hyatt Regency. I always associate it with the um, Grand Hyatt. However, the real name here in Sonora is Hyatt Regency. We just get back on the track here again. All this lighting here on the beach for the night. So the Hyatt Regency op occupies a big section of beach here in Sonora. We're starting again with the sun lounges. As you can see so, so many sun lounges there. Ooh la la. There's not really many people using them. I don't know if there's many guests or not at the Hyatt Regency. Or the... You can see in there the swimming pools in the back. We'll just come to this location here and we can get a better view of one of the swimming pools. We can't go inside the um, Hyatt Regency because it's a five-star resort. But you can see the swimming pool, one of the swimming pools clearly here at the front. And the sun lounges just all along the beach here. There's another swimming pool um, over in the back there I see also. Some lounges all at the front here. Here's the um, restaurant. So that's your restaurant here at the Hyatt Regency. Nice seating area there. Some of the um, fishing boats here. Just continue on. So I presume this is another section here now. If you want to um, sun lounge, you rent a sun lounge you're right next to the Hyatt Regency. I would imagine these are for rent here. Probably from from this little office here where you rent the um, water sports also. Sun lounges again on the beach here, usually 50,000 again per sun lounger, remember that. If they try to charge you 100, just say no, and now we're entering the um, Do Young Beach area. So this is the, my personal favourite area here in Sonor. Um, this has got a great collection of restaurants here on the beach. First one we're approaching now is a place called La Playa. Have some um, massage and things in the back there, also some tourist goods and things for sale. Here's La Playa. I'm going to start featuring some of the restaurants and things with the food in videos. So here's your um, seating area here at La Playa. It's on a decked area. Also have an inside seating area. I'll just show you the breakfast because they have the um, breakfast menu here. 65k. Seems a very good deal that. I'll feature this breakfast in a um, video for you at some point in the coming weeks. I'm going to be featuring a lot of um, videos with food for you so you can get a good idea of where to eat and what foods are available. So here's all your jet ski and thing rental as well, banana boats, all of that is available here. Next in line is a place called Seagrass by the Beach. You also have Do Young Surf Shop in the back there. This is a place called um, Seagrass by the Beach. Here's your seating area out on the beach. Also has an inside seating. I'll just show you some of the um, breakfast menu here. They do have other options available. This is just what's on the board. Also have an inside seating area here as well. at seagrass by the beach. There's an upstairs as well, which is very beautiful. Next in line, we have Limo Beach Calf. Another nice seating area here on the beach. You can see uh, many Western tourists here already enjoying the breakfast. Here's the inside area of Limo Beach Calf. 
also has some uh, lots of different breads available here also we'll just pick up the name now as we walk past so this street here heads back up to the main street of Jalandana and Tambalinga and this is how you get um, to the um, Do Young Beach area here there's the name Limo Beach Calf and there's the Pantai Do Young sign I'll tell you we've arrived at Do Young Beach so just next is Soraya the Grills it's another restaurant for you as the, um, it's actually not open this one for breakfast come in the afternoon or evening it'll be open nice decked area also have another Soraya um, water sports um, organi organising tour booking centre here next in line is going to be a place called Coco Bistro so just take into account when we're at these restaurants here that some of these restaurants are just not going to be uh, busy for breakfast Here. Oh, those are lunch packages. Just give some idea of the lunch packages also. Beautiful seating area here overlooking the ocean. Looking direct into sunlight so it's not too good on the camera. Next we have a place called Bamboo Eatery and Bar. This is closed for breakfast. Don't come here for breakfast. Another beautiful seating area here on the beach. Next is a place called Umba. This place is open for breakfast. Has some customers inside there. Nice seating areas inside also. And also has a nice seating area outside here with a quite a few customers sat here overlooking the ocean. There's the name Umba. Give you another look at Umba. Next is a place called Barramundi Sonor. Looks like Barramundi Sonor. I'm not sure whether it's open or not. It's not too much activity in there. No, it doesn't look as though it's open yet for breakfast. Barramundi chairs are all stacked away. Next along the line is a place called Izzy Kea. inside seating area here at Izikea. Next along the line is one of my personal favourites. So this is a place called Lilla Pantai. This offers great value for money, good food. I shall be featuring this place in a video for you soon for breakfast. Has a seating area here on the beach, wooden tables and chairs. It's also a beautiful place inside. Let's continue on. So here's your outside seating area here at Lilla Pantai. Also has a beautiful inside seating area. Here's your croissant and coffee or tea for breakfast. Very reasonably priced food this for the beach. all at Lilla Pantai and then we just continue on next is one of my personal favorite spas here also on the beach the fabulous the Ness beachside spa it's just there in the back I featured this place in a video just show you the name when we get around the corner here just turn around here we have the there's the name the nest this beautiful memorial on the wall also here at the nest Nice beach location also. And then we'll continue walking along the line. So we have a place called Summer Essentials. Beautiful um, clothing shop here. Men's and ladies clothing shop. Some nice um, stuff in there. This used to be a place called Nalayan also. I'm not sure it's closed down temporarily. But it was a nice restaurant. 
not sure why it's closed. Oh, it looks as though it's having a renovation and it's changing its name to a place called Sayo by the looks of it. Looks as though that's going to be the new name. Used to be called Nalayan. Nice seating area on the beach also. And we just continue walking along this section of track here now. I think the next place from memory is a place called Pier 8, I think, attached to the Intercontinental Hotel. Yes it is, it's, this is Pier 8. Some um, customers inside there will just take you and show you the name and then we'll take you and show you the beach location. So this is attached to the Intercontinental Hotel show you the Pier 8 first of all. There's a name Pier 8. There's a beautiful seating area here at Pier 8 inside. Beautiful seating area outside as well. So there's the intercontinental seating area also. And then we have a um, outside seating area here this I'm not sure whether this is the intercontinental or pier 8 probably both as um, I think they're both um, associated with each other we'll just get back on the back here now and just um, take a stroll along the intercontinental so you can see the beautiful inside seating area there Intercontinental Bali Sut Sonor Resort. It says on the stone there. And we just come out onto the beach. Here's your sun lounges here at the Intercontinental. Twin bed and single bed. Just continue on the track now. Now this um, restaurant coming up here now is very, so here's the main entrance here to the Intercontinental. Can't really see much of the hotel on the front here, it's in, in the back. And then this next restaurant coming up here, this is very, very popular of an evening, usually has live music. This is a great place to come of an evening. I'm going to feature this place in a video for you shortly as well, and um, I shall have some food here. It's a place called Tapa. Beautiful outside seating area. This in an evening will be absolutely packed. It'll be so full of an evening. So it has a beautiful inside seating area. Some of the menu, but not breakfast menu. Here's the name, Tapa. This is a very, very popular place, particularly in the evening. Let's continue walking along now. So just bearing around the corner here. You can see all the fishing boats out in the ocean there. This is, this is, I'm going to actually just come back here, this is a beautiful area, this for the pagodas if you want a nice place to sit here for an, an evening. So you have the twin, twin pagodas here, I have one there, and one here. Let's continue on the, along the track again now. Okay, so we just have some local little places here, selling some coconuts and some little um, snacks and things in this one here. Pop noodles, water and things like that. You need to get some um, stuff while you're here on the beach. Oh, la la, who's that? And I think the next place is a place called Studio de Pantai, I think. 
And this is going to be um, Pantai uh, Semawang, the start of Pantai Semawang. So this is the start of Semawang Beach. This is going to be a final um, beach area, what we're going to cover. This place here in this building is a place called Stooja de Pantai. It's usually quite popular as well, this place. It's a beautiful outside seating area here on the beach. normally quite popular this place I'm actually surprised it's um, quite empty I'm going to feature this place in a video for you also and now we're going to continue walking along the beach so you have some toilets and um, showers and things for rental there again 5,000 some surfboards and things and surf rental here some of the prices in case you're interested in any of those and then now this is an area here where you can um, rent the um, th there's also a massage lady here on the beach if you need a massage by Studio de Panta you can also rent these for the kiddies the inflatables and things it's usually cheaper to buy them though from the shop than rent there's all your um, some lounges for rent as well in this area and then now we're just going to continue walking along the track so you have bicycle rental and everything as well here again some more um, inflatables for the kids there also I think the inflatables are normally between 20 and 30,000 um, per hour depending on which one you rent. However, sometimes it can work out a bit cheaper if you um, just go and buy them from the um, stall holders near the beach and things or even from Artisan down the supermarket. You'll find a number of um, inflatables inside there. So now we're coming up to a collection of um, new warungs here on um, Semwang Beach. Is the start area. You can see they've got huge menus there. I'm not going to go into that too much, but this is the area what you're looking for. You need to use Google Maps. Area Balanja, Semawang. Some of these places are not open because it's too early in the morning. It's usually open later afternoon, midday to um, late evening. New for 2024. I think some, yeah, some, some appear to be open. Not really too many. Hello, good morning. How are you, brother? Hello, good morning. We're on Nanda this one, so this one, this one's open. Many of the others are closed, but we're on Nanda's open. So if you want a um, breakfast from our Wurrung. Some of these are open also as we're coming to now. You can see they've got very, very big menus. We're wrong Boonovi. We're wrong Nessa. Jackfish. This one's closed. This is usually very popular when it's open, Jackfish. Titty's um, Wurrung on the end here. Welcome to Titty, my darling. Time to relax, so you've got long chair and sunbeds for rent here at Titty's as well. Just continue along the track. Now we're going to come to a collection of um, local tourist goods shops here. some sunbeds and things again for rent here and here's a collection of all your tourist goods shops selling all of um, ladies clothing and things here just on the beach 
lots of ladies clothing there on both sides men's and ladies clothing kids clothing many things there and we're just going to continue walking now okay so there's not really much in this section now i'm just going to turn the camera off until we get up to the uh, to the next section now again here you, just ahead of me you have some um, sun lounges and things for rent if you want to um, relax and rent in this area you want to be alone this is a good area to come again fifty thousand per rental for the sun lounges guys are just cleaning all the seaweed up on the beach there now okay so just from a sunbed rentals there now we're going to um, continue you can actually reserve these it says reserved on these beds i'm not sure whether that's true or not whether they are reserved now we're coming to the um, pure Essential. very nice um, resort area this here in Sonor. you can see the beautiful seating options here Beautiful um, relaxing lounges as well, super thick here, these are some of the best, if not the best on the beach I think. A beautiful um, swimming pool area also in the back there at the um, Pure Essential. Some nice um, lounging areas here also, under the gazebo style seating. The big swimming pool is just in the back there. have to get on this side of the track because of this side I'm walking on the um, bike side have a beautiful um, restaurant area also just overlooking the ocean here at the Puri Sanction it's all under cover this section here just in the back there is the um, other dining facility This is one of my favourite walking areas here in St. it's just so, so beautiful. All the gardens and everything are so beautiful. Have the menus there, I've already shown them in the night time video when I walked along here. Have another restaurant area here also. Some beautiful seating areas here. Fury Sanction also has another swimming pool in the back there. do now is I'm just going to turn back and um, when we get to this this is the end of the Puri Sanction now or the start depending on which direction you're coming from and then I'm going to turn around and just show you the, um, the beach location outside the whole of the Puri Sanction so there's the name Puri Sanction hello good morning and this area here leading out to the ocean And there's your beautiful beach area here outside the Puri Sanction. One of the best beach locations in Sonor this. Okay, so just moving on from the Puri Sanction now, we're going to continue along this track here now. You can see tourists walking along here. I'm just going to switch the camera until we get to the end of this track now. Okay, so after just coming from an area there at the Puri Sanction now, we've arrived at another section here now. This is another section of um, tourist goods sellers here on the beach. Nice collection of ladies, men's, kiddies clothing and things all in the back here. Good morning, madam. How are you? No, I'm just walking. Thank you. We also have some massage ladies here on the beach as well. Yes, I do massage. You do massage. Good price. Good price. <laughs> Lots of ladies, um, Western, having the massage done here on the beach. Also have a um, local... Um, little girl were wrong here selling snacks and drinks and things in the back there just at the back here we have Costa by Monster this is a fairly new place it's a 
the name Costa by Monster. Beautiful seating area in the back there at Costa by Monster. Free flow wine, oh la la. Really like wine, and then they also have a beautiful seating area here out on the beach as well at Costa by Monster. So next door we have a um, another massage area here. Used to be a coffee shop this, now it's been converted into a uh, massage. Next we have Bobby's Bar and Restaurant. There's a seating area here on the beach at Bobby's Bar and Restaurant. I'm just going to um, give you the name here so you know the name. So this place is open for breakfast as it states there. Beautiful outside seating area there. And they also have a um, inside seating area as well at um, Bobby's. Just show you this, there's no breakfast menu available here on the chalkboard. Maybe this is of interest with the beers. And there's the inside of Bobby's Bar and Restaurant. Let's continue on now. La la, will you look at that? Wow. So all your water sports and things again available from this area. Jet skis. Things available there. Hello. Hello, good morning. How are you brother? And then next, this is the um, another nice accommodation, the Pramus and all beach barley. La la, will you look at this? Wow. Looks very, very beautiful there at the Prama. You can see there's many guests there outside relaxing, enjoying the swimming pool. Here's the sun loungers on the beach here at the Prama also. Also some soft cushion beanbag style seating as well at the Prama. such a fabulous location the Prama it's also very very busy in their restaurant people having the breakfast there in the restaurant you can see there's um, quite a few guests staying there at the Prama very busy particularly under the um, cover under the shade and then we'll just come out now and um, take you to the um, sun lounges it's another closer look on the um, restaurant area Sun Lounges again occupies a very big section of beach. Promise and all beach leading into the ocean. We'll just give you a look at the beach section here at the Prama. As you can see you have a beautiful beach area here also at the Prama. Okay, so we're just back on the track now and just continue walking. You can see the pathway is very beautiful and elegant again here with all the beautiful bushes. So the pram has two swimming pools in the back um, in this section here. It has a kids, kids swimming pool. We'll just take you and show you and we'll show you this as well. These are all the um, carts and buggies and things for rent here on the beach. If you want to drive along the track in any of these. Price per 30 minutes. So there's the um, Prama restaurant there. And then they also have another beautiful um, kiddies swimming pool area here also. There's your kiddies swimming pool here at the Prama. Okay, so just carrying on from the Prama now. Oh, we're still at the Prama, but um, continue walking along the track here. So this next place is called Bamboo Bar and Lounge. Beautiful place this. I don't think this is open currently. Well, as you can see, it's a very, very elegant um, looking structure, bamboo. You can see why it's called a bamboo bar and lounge. 
some beautiful seating here this will be very busy in an afternoon and of an evening have a um, live entertainment stage it's usually got music and stuff on over there in the back it's a very very beautiful place for um, drinking and eating this pop rock on the beach live band friday 19th of april some beautiful seating area here also and then here's a perfect picture um, opportunity here on the beach memories are made with us so look at all of your beach area here near the prama and the um, bamboo bar and lounge okay so there's a final angle on a bamboo bar and lounge beach area there's a final angle on a um, bamboo bar and lounge have a Tonkyu pizza place here attached to the bamboo bar and lounge and then the next place is a place called Basilico Italian Pavilion Bar this is closed a very beautiful place this with a beautiful um, beach area some nice seating here I think this opens at 11 or midday it's just there And then next we have Rip Cool School of Surf coming up just on the right on the right hand side here. This is a big um, place. This probably the biggest on the beach for all of your um, water sport activities and things. I've always wanted to try this. Looks absolutely funky. This. all available from that office there in the back we're just going to continue on now um, next is a place called the um, beach calf coming up or beach calf and spa should I say so there's the um, there's some of the spa facility has a um, little like swimming pool there at this spa facility take you and show you if we can in the, around in the back here so there's the um, there's the pool area also has some high baths and cold baths in the back nice seating area also let's come now to the um, restaurant this is a place called the beach uh, restaurant or beach calf the names it's the inside a few customers inside not really too many and then we just continue walking now now we're going to be the next place big place is going to be the Mercure Resort that we're approaching now um, and the genius calf these are going to be the last places i'm going to feature in the video because as i've covered now at the end of here all the major beach area here in sonor uh, that would be of interest to tourists so just before we get to the mercure we have retro beach i think this is called retro beach calf it's the name retro beach <laughs> we have another area coming up now this is a big kids play area just before we get to the mercure there's also some um, toilet and shower facilities again here also it's just in the back there probably the nicest toilets on the beach this have some massage here as well
And just to the uh, right here we have um, a kids play area and also an exercise area for adults. So you can see all the exercise equipment here at the back. Also a nice beautiful kids play area, some slides and swings and things. Beautiful seating area here also. This is the um, seating area of your staying at the um, Akana um, on Jalan Sudamala. A nice big kids play area here. It's all like a sand, sand base. So the kids should be safe. It's a seating area here on the beach. I think this is the Mercure already now. Rooms and things are in the back there, the Mercure. Some people here selling some, um, oh, this lady's got some interesting shells and things here. Nice collection of shells and things made from shells there. Some shell soap trays. Also some wood carvings and things here. Good Hello, good morning. And then now just on the right hand side is the, um, the Mercure. I'll just take you up to the main entrance. We won't go in, we'll just show you the main entrance. We should get a little bit of a glimpse of the swimming pool from here. So there's the entrance into the Mercure and there's a swimming pool in the back. I'll show you this section here because this is another beautiful um, picture opportunity here in Sonor to remember your Sonor holiday. I love Sonor. So just from the I love Sonor now we're going to continue walking along here. So there's a section of a Mercure restaurant or beach uh, or poolside bar area. There's a seating area here on the grass. Um, people here sat on the beach. Just here is um, where we're going to finish today's video. This is a place called a Genius Calf. Genius Calf Sonor. All day craft beer. Main calf is just in the back there under that uh, impressive looking um, thatch roof building or straw roof. Nice seating area inside there. And then you can see we have big groups of um, people here just sat on the beach. There's seating in there also. There's a bar area here. We're just gonna, this is going to be the finishing point. I'm just going to turn back now. There's a final view on the Genius Calf. Okay, so that concludes today's video. My full stroll here along the different beach sections here in Sonor. What can I say? Ooh la la, what an absolutely fabulous place Sonor really is. So today I've shared this is my home here in Bali. Um, I'm sharing these uh, beach locations here in um, Sonor, Bali with you just to help you make an informed decision and decide whether Sonor is a place that you want to spend your time for your holiday here in uh, Bali. So in today's video I've taken a full stroll. These areas that I've covered in today's video, these are the there is all the beach areas, however, they're not going to be really of much interest to tourists and there's nothing really in those beach locations. Today's video is the entire length of all the areas of beach which will be of interest to tourists. I'm not going to waste my time with areas that will um, are only going to appeal to a few people. These areas featured in today's video should appeal to the majority. So as you've seen with the camera, you've got a great collection of um, hotel resort accommodation here on the beach, fabulous collection of restaurants, coffee shops, also some shops here on the beach all in all this is just a really great place um, to choose for your holiday stay here in Bali so on that note hope you've enjoyed today's video hope some of you find this video useful and this vid video really helps in uh, you making the perfect choice for your holiday stay here in uh, Bali and I shall say bye for now